హలో ఈజీ అడ్మిన్ ఫోర్ టు సెంట్రల్ ఎయిడెడ్ సపోర్ట్ ఫర్ డిప్లాయింగ్ పోస్ట్గ్రెస్ సిక్వల్ ఇన్ ద క్లౌడ్ కరెంట్లీ దర్ ఆర్ టూ క్లౌడ్ ప్రొవైడర్స్ దట్ ఆర్ సపోర్టెడ్ అమెజాన్ ఆర్డిఎస్ అండ్ ఏబిపి వీ కెన్ ఎనల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ డెమాన్స్ట్రేట్ హౌ టు డిప్లాయ్ అ పోస్ట్గ్రెస్ సిక్వల్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ ఇన్ ద అమెజాన్ ఆర్డిఎస్ క్లౌడ్ త్రూ ఈజీ అడ్మిన్ ఫోర్ టు ఓపెన్ ది క్లౌడ్ డిప్లాయ్మెంట్ విజార్డ్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ ఎనీ సర్వర్ గ్రూప్ యూ కెన్ సిలెక్ట్ రిజిస్టర్ అండ్ డిప్లాయ్ ద క్లౌడ్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ The wizard simplifies the deployment process through a sequence of windows, cloud provider, credentials, instance specification, database details and review. So le let's start the deployment process. So first you need to select the cloud providers here. First choose the Amazon RDS option. Click on the next. So here we need to select any region in which we need to deploy the cloud instance. in order to authenticate yourself to the aws provide the aws access key and aws secret first aws access key and then the secret access key you need to provide the aws session token if your aws session is temporary now click on the next button to move further once you click on it pg admin will verify your credential with aws if the credentials are valid the third step will be displayed so the next is the instance specification provide the instance name here pg admin test this name will be displayed here in the pg admin browser tree next provide the public ip range for permitting the inbound traffic you can also provide multiple ip addresses or ranges by comma separated and this is the default one which is the host server's ip address next we'll provide the version and the instance details first select the database version from the list now there are three option for the instance classes so choose the db instance type that allocates the computational network and memory capacity required by the planned workload of this database instance so we'll choose here the stable classes next select the instance type now the storage capacity so there are three options available for storage type general purpose provisioned iop and magnetic so if you choose provision iop you also need to provide the provision iop here with allocated storage if you select general purpose or magnetic then you need to just provide the allocated storage now click on the next button to move further so next window is about database details first select the server group from the list then provide the database name username password confirm password and the default code is 5432 if you want to change the port then you can change this port as per the requirement click on the next button so this is the review page you can review all the details provided by you on this page review all the items and click on the finish Once you click on the finish, the background process will start to deploy the PostgreSQL instance in the cloud. You can check the progress here through the process watcher. The server is already added in the browser tree here and this icon indicates that the deployment is in progress. Once the deployment is done, this icon will be replaced with the default PG admin server icon. you can also check the aws dashboard for the deployed server here pg admin test and you can see the details here so the server has been deployed in the cloud and you can see the details here host name address port maintenance database and username you can check by connecting it so provide the password here okay and you can see the database pg admin here as we have given the our database name as pg admin so as you have seen 
with very simple steps you can deploy the postgresql instance in the cloud and connect it to pgadmin very easily thank you